are talking a lot about mental health nowadays. So why not combine this topic with something else that's happening right now? And that is the holidays. We've got the perfect holiday gift brought to us by Ella Destiny. She is an author and life coach. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course. We're happy to have you here. You've got a stocking stuffer or stocking stuffer, tongue twister for me there, um, that <laughs> offers spiritual encouragement as well. So tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. So um, I wrote a book on last year called There's Nothing Wrong With Saying So What, and I have it here. Um, this is a spiritual inspirational guide, and it's just kind of like to to help people get through different things in their life that they may be going through, or I don't like to say going through anything, but what they may be growing through, um, whether you've been through something, whether you're growing through something now or in the future. And so it's kind of like giving spiritual guidance and direction on how you can get to your next, whatever that looks like for you. And you are always helping other people, but as I understand it, you're also dealing with some grief yourself right now. Is that correct? Absolutely. So um, last year on my parents' 47th wedding anniversary, they both were hospitalized with COVID. My mom survived and my dad passed away. Um, we've also lost, I think, about 15 people in our family to COVID last year. And so it's just been a really, really tough year for us. That is devastating. I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, COVID is affecting so many people, especially in our community. I'm wondering how it is that you are able to help people right now, even when you are so greatly affected by, you know, this pandemic? Um, you know, I, I understand because I am really, really spiritual. And what, the one thing that I understand is that there's a purpose for our pain. And so even though we may be sitting in a situation where we're going through and we're hurting and we're grieving and all of those things, I know that, um, you know, my grief is attached to someone else's um, grief. And so, Mm -hmm. I'm able to help people because I'm going through the same thing that they're going through or growing through. And so I just use my pain to kind of help someone else, to help them cope, to help them get through it. And the one thing that I know, um, you know, I'm, I'm a Bible reader. And so the one thing that the word says is blessed are those that mourn for they shall be comforted. And so I feel like a part of my um, mission and commission is to, to comfort someone else and just to give them that word of encouragement because it's helped me. Yes, absolutely. And because, you know, you're, you're dealing with the loss, but also some health issues as well, as I understand, and to be able to speak to people when you can say, you know what, I relate, I've, I'm going through this, or, you know, I, I, I understand what it is that you're going through. To be able to give a gift like that in a book, especially around the holidays, is really, really helpful. Talk about what you mean when you say being a light. Um, being a light is being that encouragement, it's being that help, it's being that voice, it's being that person that others need just to be that example and just to help someone, just to uplift someone and just really being the beacon of light, um, if you will, and just helping people get through, you know, um, a lot of times around the holidays, especially when people experience grief, they go to that dark place. Mm -hmm. And so I just like to, to light them up, to just help them and to show them that, you know, even though you're in this place right now, you can get to the other side. There is hope. There is a light and you don't have to go on that dark side. Um, and, you know, that's what I just like to do just to help people to get to the dark side. That's what the light is for me. So when they pick up your book, what are they going to find inside? Are these um, stories or anecdotes or tips or how is it, how is it formulated? <laughs> you are going to find, um, Real life stories about my life, um, you're going to find a lot of transparency in the things that I have experienced in my life, grief, um, you know, illness, my granddaughter having epilepsy, all types of things. And they're all going to find, they're also going to find scripture, um, you know, things that they can go to and read for encouragement and just confirmation. Like, you don't have to take my word for it. Um, there's nothing new under the sun. So anything that we may be experiencing, it's already happened before. Mm -hmm. This is the scripture that I read to get me through this. And so um, whatever it is that you may be experiencing, the one with the issue of blood, that was me when I had um, fibroids and I went through months and months and months of, you know, going through the whole heavy bleeding and pain and all of that stuff. So everything that you can possibly think of, it's in this book. I love that. And what a gift to give someone around the holidays. How can we get our hands on it? The book? 
you can go to my website. It's um, elladestiny.com. Or you can go on my Instagram page and click the link. Um, the book is on Amazon.com as well. So um, either of those platforms you can go to. And also on Amazon now, um, I have buy one, get one. So for the holidays as a stocking stuffer, if you purchase a book, you can also get a book for free to give to a loved one who may yeah. be going through something as well. Absolutely. Or you know what? Keep it for ourselves. We already gave one away. I want one too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Coach Ella Destiny, thank you so much for sharing your story and sharing this book with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. Yeah.